thanks to my friend Cameron, we've finally got the communal blue beauty snake set up ready. The Vietnamese blue beauties will go in there in a second. So what have we got here? We've got a five foot by four foot by two foot viv. And it's gonna have a communal blue beauty snake setting in there. Now we've got a bonded pair, and we're gonna also introduce to them in here our large male. We've got a smaller female that's growing on, she's gonna to have to stay out of it for now. So we're gonna keep a close eye on things. So what have we got? We've got a substrate, cocoa husk, it can hold a bit of moisture, obviously places to climb. A little bit of naturistic planting, it's got to be utilitarian, I've got to be able to get them in and out for work. Uh, the room space heated to 22, 20, sorry, to 28 degrees C, but we've also got spot lamp, uh, ceramic, and a ceramic up here. LED lighting, not for those, so it looks nice really, the snakes don't care, they really don't. Um, after all, some of these blue beauty snakes live in caves in the wild. Um, but we want to make sure there's lots of places they can get away from each other. Now the bonded pair spend all their time together, but we've got hides down low. We've also got here, this is attached to the wall, and there's a brilliant sort of nook Ooh, in the top for a snake to curl up in. I've also got a stack of three hide boxes. I love these hide boxes because you can fill them half full of substrate. That's brilliant for when the snakes are going to shed because they hold a bit of moisture in there. And we've got a stack of three, obviously because we want the snakes to have to get away from each other. Not will argue over the best hide in the best area because the heat from this is of course going to rise as well as heat the bottom level here and realistically we're going to put them together keep a close eye on them especially the males because i think the big male may start to dominate the younger male um, and like i say we have got the younger snakes are a really bonded pair they're mating well we've got eggs due i should like to think this summer and if he upsets that too much then he'll come out and we'll set up a separate viv for the other pair when the female's big enough. So let's make sure a little bit of it's shut off. Ignore this, it was a spare, it's on there just for now. Okay, so this is the younger male. This is the biggest of our two females, and she's very, very blue, very, very beautiful indeed. So the younger male and this girl here are a really happy pair. Let's pop her in. Oh, gently does it. And this is the, the big old boy here, who uh, always very viv defensive and yet has been to hundreds and hundreds of schools and is a really fantastic ambassador for his species. Because this guy, believe it or not, is touching 10 feet long now. It's absolutely crazy. Maybe that's an exaggeration. I think it's actually nine feet last time we measured him. Although blue beauty snakes, like all the cave braces, are very long snakes, they can take lengths of sort of 13 feet maybe, some of the big females. Because they're thin and kind of wiry, they spend most of their time curled up in you know, a hide box maybe a foot, a foot long. And like a big sort of 12 foot python, which is a really big bulk animal. These are all length, but that's about it. As predicted, they've all gone into their own apartments. <laughs> disappeared, so you've got really long snakes, quite a nice fifth, and they'll spend nearly all of their time kind of hiding away until hunger brings them out for sure. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this short video, and we're gonna start producing a lot more videos on the, our reptile and herptile sort of job, um, collection, and of course, our outdoor in the UK nature-based videos, because it's that time of year where the true falconry season has ended, the sun and the springtime's coming, 
So we're going to be out and about a lot more. And the content of some of these standalone videos is certainly going to change over the summer. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.